All right, so long story, but I'll keep it as short as possible. <laughs> Please, by all Fighting means. games is the only thing that I knew. I didn't, I, I didn't even know what an RPG. So we were into, we were always into extreme music, and like the country that I live in is only metal. Everybody here is only. Into MK metal. just came out of nowhere, and and Johnny Cage just punched your head off. Like, <laughs> dude, we gotta play that game. Mm -hmm. Shit, we had nothing. I mean, like, you'd have to keep me really motivated. I mean, I'm thinking about like who I'm gonna beat down at the arcade. I ain't going back to class. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. When we started talking to Street Fighter guys, they would make fun of MK because they're like, ah, it's it's just kick you and you fall, sweep, you know, whatever, just bullshit tactics with with the uh, fireballs and things. I don't think he could win that game. I, I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying I just think that there's two different types of games, and I just think the Street Fighter has always been the heavily skilled game, and MK has always been the flash. Um, you I can any excuse me. Safely tell you that every tournament from MK1, 2, and 3 was run by either me or Jimmy. Drink on the weekends and stuff, but we were we were gamers. We didn't care about the drinking. We wanted to play. We didn't do anything bad. We just wanted to play. And I know all the old school players, but I don't think they, they the scene that they had was as big as Long Island was. That's that's what I'm trying to say. So I'm right, basing right. it off of him, off of off of how good he is. I, I'm telling you, created by Jimmy and me. I'm telling you, it was. But nobody. Nobody, there was nobody out there who was doing anything. We even got on the internet. We did so much stuff that no, no one knows who I we are. walked into the movie theater, and I was like, MK2. That's got to be a joke. I had no idea. No clue. And every combo that I hit on you, that I've played, I've played you. Every combo that I ever hit on anybody, I paid to learn that. Never, none of us even played the game, and we wrecked them. We wrecked them with, with tactics that we had from MK2. You know what I mean? Yeah. Two of the guys, two of the guys, we, we we destroyed them the whole night. We were friends with them, whatever. Two two of those guys followed us home. They followed us home. We used IRC. It was kind of legit because these guys are like, okay, let's play this versus this. Everything else was either a local arcade running something a week in advance with like a sign up board with like. No fighting games is such a toxic community. It, I'm not talking about today's world. I'm talking about my world. Toxic as could be. People were pissed off. They had a shitty day. They want to punch you in the face. Knowing the stuff that I know now, I think MK1 is my favorite game. Over 2. I know. It sounds crazy. I know. And we started thinking about going to different arcades to play people because we loved the competition. And then we thought about doing tournaments. But the competition was never, first. There was never any arcade people who didn't like us because we gave them money. Okay? We came in religiously. We didn't cause any trouble. We did get into fights and stuff, but they would never see that. All the Kung Lao Infinite stuff that I did that I showed that I, in UMK3, those were my combos. I've never seen anybody ever do that. Wow. I can actually say that I've never seen anybody do that stuff. Jimmy was never... I would say Jimmy was never, like, the best. I think I was better than Jimmy in, in all the games, but, but he was... Jimmy was my... I was my bodyguard. I mean... <laughs> You couldn't go to an arcade without somebody backing you up. Because if you went to an arcade and you played somebody, you could get freaking ass. We learned how to cover our hands. Big secrets. <laughs> people would be like, holy shit, he knows Raiden the second fatality. We Why did just... people do that back then? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was, it was part of the freaking legacy, man. I am the one who talked to Joe's father outside saying, I'm never bringing this kid back here. That's why he didn't play at Westbury, which was the number one arcade to play. Joe did not play there. He did not play us. We destroyed him anyway. We killed him. The On Blast show, by the way, the stuff that Jimmy does, he has wanted to do that since I've known him. This is... I'm not even kidding you. So Jimmy is actually doing what he's doing right now. He wanted to do that in... The new tactics is what deterred all my old friends. They were used to the robotic style of the first two games. Very robotic. They kick you, you get us wrong. We played the games. We played three. We played UMK3 till the day it died. Till the day we, we, we religiously played it. But we didn't like it as much as two. Those MK2 was like the original series beginning for me. That's, that's what started it all. Not even the first one. MK2. So that's what I look at it as. Street, the Street Fighter 2 of the series. Not even... And the, and, the, and, the, and the codes, the combat codes like Ramper and uh, Unlimited Run and stuff... We would accidentally do them, and then we would write them yeah, down. It was a, the Midway did a pro tour, and um, it was completely dead after that. They spent a ton of money on it.
a group, and they're like, yeah, we saw what happened to you. So like, I'm like, yeah, well, at least I went there, you know, and I got I got my ass handed to me at that arcade. Wow. That was that was brutality, man. That that arcade. I Take was there. I was deep in the trenches. Okay, in every arcade, KI was the absolute shit. It was the best game ever. Everyone. Right. Anybody who's watching this, I have no knowledge on any new game that you guys play, so I have no clue what you guys are talking about. I'm only talking about the pre-cell phone era, okay? Nobody had a cell phone. We had beepers. So please, before you boomer me and all this stuff, because my own kids boomer me all day, I don't know anything about what's going on nowadays. We only played the old stuff. I only play fighting games. People you ask have... me today. You want to have fun. People ask me today. They're like, they're like, what kind of games do you play? I'm like, I play fighting games. They're like, what? I'm like fighting games. They're like, oh, uh, what? I'm like fighting games, like Street Fighter, you know? Like, no, we don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, no, I know. there's no, there's no fun in it for me. There's no, it's not uh, playing online, playing people in their underwear doesn't really, it th doesn't really thrill me. Like playing somebody on an arcade and bumping them a little, that's the, you know what I mean? Like for me, yeah. I lost the feel of it when, when the home, when it came out to home version. That was the biggest hurt of my entire life. Seriously. I, I, you guys could, like I said, you could say what you guys want to say. I met the best friends of my life playing that those, game. Those days were so important to me. They made everything of who I am and who I was. And they just got stripped and dead. Choose your fighters.